Welcome everyone for another round of Ark Survival on the island. Today, I am going to do some expanding on the tower because I need to change some things up and there is a tap -a jar there flying around, keeping an eye on things for me. Actually, he's not my friend. He's just, he wanted to hang out, I guess. So I need to free up some space around the cliff edge and the horseshoe because of some of the future projects I want to do. So I've been gathering a lot of supplies and I decided the next step for me is to build on the tower. I've only got the one area right now, but I did to make it quite large. So I have room to add storage up top and stuff like that. I will do some more decorating here, but I have a lot of supplies already built, a lot of supplies ready to go. So let's do some building on the tower. I am honestly already thinking about expanding out one more section. Like, I mean, this is okay. I can walk around. There's not really anything to see on this end, but over here, I almost feel like I do want to extend it out past this one walking area but i am not 100 sure on that yet face face the right way what the way i'm wanting you to uh i really wish it was like wide enough to serve for you know the same size as the gate for a double door but it's not so we'll just i'll do that and i'll just have it kind of all set by one since i did this with an even number as opposed to an odd number so i have a dead center part and there i get a i'm getting a gap again why am i suddenly getting gap that is doing i it is just so picky about how you aim on certain things you can also see when it's placing differently because you can see one side is sticking up taller like, those are taller. Why are the... Ah! It's so inconsistent. Like, it's green, and it places taller than the piece next to it. And then it's green again, places tall, and at some point, it's going to be like, oh, yeah, you want to place at that same level for this. I mean, sometimes it's, it's so random. Every other piece... It did take some trickery, but every other piece I've got lined up perfectly. This is the only one that refuses, no matter how I try to place it. Which way I'm aiming, how close or how far away, this is the only one that will not place level. <gasps> Finally! I don't know what I targeted differently because I targeted the same as I have been trying from the side. It's just for some reason snapped in the right spot this time. And that was about 40 or 50 attempts. I'm going to estimate that I spent trying to get that. And there's a gap there. What the does not look that tall from down here. I mean, honestly, if I was to do uh, another tile up another wall section up it would not look that weird from down here i think i'm gonna do that honestly it kind of feels a little too tall for being an inside area but you know what it's fine i've i've got some ideas for how i want to handle this uh let's go ahead do ceiling awesome uh not sure about the whole leaking light as i'm further away but is, is happening already in the earth floor, so that's fine. Better. I, I think that's actually good. I think that is enough height to it, and I, I can work with that on the inside. I can make that suitable. There we go. Three set stairs. Come on up. Next level. All right, so why well, I, well, I got a few ceilings left. What I'm going to do with this one, I think, is actually do the double out ceiling all the way around so i give myself a little bit wider range plus i mean look where i'm at i got more room it'll give kind of a shade for the area below and this extends it out a bit because i've got something specific in mind hopefully i can do this without needing to get the gun out uh well <laughs> if i could target anything there, okay, there, like that. I think one side is placed lower than the other. It's what uh, it looks like. 
I, I, I thought No Man's Sky was bad when it came to placing stuff down at times, but yeah, this was this is uh, an absolutely horrible experience doing this. I mean, that's just that was awful. What? Okay, now that's not right. I did this on the lower level and it worked. Do I, do I need to like extend it out further? Is that it? Like that. Awesome. Okay, it's gonna look a little funny on uh, the area below with that because it's gonna be sticking out a little bit, but it does work up here and okay, I can snap it there, but I can't snap that. Are you kidding me? Place the one up top with the snapping changed so I can place that one, which is basically attaching to the underside of the other one. And hopefully it broke. Maybe if I just do it like this off of that corner, that might be how I did it before where I got it to place there. And it does not count as being there. I mean, that looks helpful. It actually adds a, a nice aesthetic to it, but it does not help me in terms of placing things where I want. So I've been wasting my time because it's placed here in the corner and it's not letting me do anything. It's not like doing that. So maybe I need to, do I need a target to the underside of that? Because that's not working. No, that's not work. It's not letting me target there. Why? Oh man, this is, this is a very frustrating game to build in uh, uh, a lot of cases. I'm gonna try one more thing. If I can find that one there, one nanometer space where it actually works and swap. Nope. Did not make a difference. Well, for now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting up these walls and try to make sure I'm going the right distance. I think that's right. And once again, the walls cannot place consistent what look yep up up ah uh, that's just a little bit too tall don't think i want to go three high on this one i'm just gonna do too high actually hell i may go a little higher actually i might go up three levels because i'm getting close to the uh, top side where I want to be able to build a big landing area. And I don't have an idea for a fourth level on this other than just a big open landing area. So I may, yeah, three high might be a good one for this as well. So it'll make it look more imposing. Don't break. It did not break. All right. Something working in my favor now. Finally. Yes. Okay. Well, this, there's a weird gap, but yeah, don't, 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 not pointing that. No, point the other way. Okay. That's why there's a gap. I can tell it's not even. I mean, that's not even, that's not centered. And it looks like that's going for, yeah, that's, that's going about there. And this one's going about there. Like it's the same. Uh, you know what? Let's just try like this. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I just need to swap. Uh, again, that we go like that. Maybe if you just do it like this. Did that work? No, that's obviously still off. It's not that bad that if I was just running past all the time, I wouldn't notice it, but I can look at it and I can see one side is over further and a little higher than the other side and I cannot get them to place right. And I have already wasted way too much time already just trying to get other stuff to line up. I have been so busy building that I have neglected my dodos and even Hespers because I have some, some offspring that did not make it. It's a good thing. I wasn't trying to do the tower and something like, metal <laughs> where it'd be just 
horribly bad to get that many supplies. Okay. Wish you could just like hit a button and flip instead of having to try and target something very, very specifically for it to work. And there we go. The idea here being I want to have a little loft kind of area, put the bed up here and some nice decorative stuff and a loft. And then below I can have a few things like maybe fridge or something like that. And then out here I can have like a nice cozy area, maybe like a little fireplace over there or actually it's be a good spot over here. Fireplace over here. So it's kind of like I'm, I'm close by for warmth. Yeah. Going through everything, I might just end up getting one of those decorations mods because uh, there's, there's just not a lot in the way of decorations for what I would like to do here. I'm going to go ahead and do like the war map. I feel like that could be a fun one to have. Actually, I feel like I need to have some kind of uh, space for eventually maybe an air conditioning thing up here in one of the windows kind of thing. Be fine. So I'll have a little bit of light over here. And now I've made a few other things. Well, if I could get them to get them in the right spot. Uh, I could do it like this, you know, nice little corner. Oh, it is going to kind of leave a little bit of a gap behind that. Otherwise I have it sticking out on the balcony. Not a fan of that aspect, but that at least gives me that kind of look. Uh, you know, I don't remember there being like carpet. Yeah, I didn't see anything about carpet. Maybe I missed it. Let's look. Carpet. No, no carpet. Okay, so it'd be nice to have something kind of like a carpet option for this. Uh, but don't. So we'll just stick with this setup. Table and chairs. Kind of framing in. I may actually enclose this like along here. So there's a wall. Like just a wood wall there. And a wood wall here. So it's actually like I walk underneath and it's an enclosed little area, like a little private library kind of thing. Because I haven't used this. So this is for book, uh, for blueprints, notes, and other small trinkets. Uh, like there's the bookshelf. Yes, there we go. Like that. Nice little secret library kind of thing. Maybe if I hadn't up with like enough blueprints, I could put more of that under there. If... Well, I, I'm pretty sure from what I've seen, the vault is going to be way too big for under there. I may put like a couple of vaults out here in storage kind of thing, and I can move that other one up here uh, or a second little like storage locker up here and have it kind of be, this is my little private storage area. I might do a door frame there. I don't know yet. And I'm not sure what kind of trophy I'll put on here or even exactly how to get the right trophy for it but trophy mount there and we go all the light all the torches lighting up which is you know gonna make this kind of loud when <laughs> there's that many fires going but it's okay so that's looking pretty nice i'm not sure how i'm gonna fill the rest of this out until i decide if i'm gonna try one of the decorations mods and oh that's a bit of an issue uh i did not expect that uh, that, that's a problem, but you know, I'll, I'll get back to that later. I'm going to try something again that I tried and that is, I want to try to set up the water tanks for here. I do want irrigation and, uh, water tanks. And part of the reason why I have it so far out is I want to be able to place a water tank on the outside of some of the walls. So I have like a wall set or a ceiling that comes out which I don't have any wood uh, stone ceilings, but I have a ceiling that comes out like here above me and the water tank sits on that and then it feeds in the piping to here to serve as the irrigation for a group of growing plots, which I should be able to get a nice little set of growing plots here like sits in the corner. Like that. Okay. So, if I can make this work, I'm going by memory again. Basically, I need, well, okay, that's clipping in there. It's not what I was expecting. Um, okay, ah, 
Okay, it's going the wrong way. It's like, don't follow the wall. Go, uh, you know, not, not parallel, perpendicular. Okay, try this. So straight pipe there, followed by an intersection, which is not where I want that to place. So just place, really, that can't even get it to line up where I want it to. I said, I'm taking the wall out and it's still not wanting to, ah! No matter what I do, I cannot win on this. It's just not wanting to place as I am trying to get to place. Oh, but that, that one is not snapping. Okay. So the stone has to snap, but the metal is perfectly acceptable to do a different way. I mean, is it, is it not like be the same thing? Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for it to become uh, rainy again. I wanna see if this works. Okay, what the? No? But not, not, it's, there's water in there, it's just, it's not connecting to it. It's what I was afraid of. I'm assuming that's gotta be right. The problem is now my tap just disappeared on me. Okay, probably about to break this. The metal tap was placed inside the water tank. Not on the pipe, not on anything else, inside the metal water tank it placed inside and now i can't mount to that spot again the pipe is highlighted and i'm just because it was buried into the platform before and didn't work i'm going to try it now and you know it's perfect time because it's raining i'll have to keep wasting water <gasps> yeah i got it i finally got it it's is filling with water and the water is coming out. Finally, I had to cheat by using the gun to say, oh, look, there's the pipe. I'm looking right at the pipe. And then it placed correctly. I mean, really, right now, the ceiling's open. So they, these are going to get watered as a result of that. But later, it's going to need this. And that should cover these. Yeah, irrigated. That's what I'm looking for. This is, oh yeah, God, just fill up with water right now. Well, that one filled up very fast. <laughs> Probably because of that filling up very fast. Oh yeah, look, it's just draining. That's why I wanted to be able to stack the tanks. So I'm going to have another one on top. And I may actually just do it where I bring that back to where it was before. And set up another tank on this side that comes in. So I can make sure these are fully water, but yeah, I'm going to let that just, I'm going to leave the ceiling off of this area until I know I've got this uh, set up right and working. And while I'm thinking of it, cause I saw him, let me introduce you to Carno Chameleon. He was wandering around on the other side of the big boulder and I just decided I was, I was like, I'm going to get him. So I, I parked on the boulder with my, uh, Tapajara and just started shooting him trained him up i you know the dodo's dying i'm getting a good bit of prime meat that way harvest harvest come on tricky put your back into it and i get so many uh seeds just from an easy harvest let's see i did savarud already didn't i keep looking at the war map up there and i'm like that's just it's throwing me off when it's up there that should be like a painting or something war map should go over here like that. There we go. Maybe I'll make a war room type thing, a war table over here or something like that. I don't know yet. I still gotta figure out what I want to do with the fireplace. It's sticking up in the corner like a, a sore thumb. And there is the expansion on the tower. It does look goofy on the corners. So I, I gotta figure out how I can get that to work right. I got it to work below to a degree or it may just be I end up bringing the the walkways in closer than I had intended to. I can't remember now. It's been a while since I worked on the lower level. But if I can figure out how to make that work, if you got a suggestion for how to make the corners work like what I'm trying, comment below. Entry area, workshop, 
Second level, living area, the nice, just cosmetic area. Third level, small indoor greenhouse. I'm still going to build another greenhouse somewhere over there with a, a pipe coming up from the water below. So I don't have to worry about, you know, rainfall for irrigation. I just needed something to get things going. And I just like the idea of having an indoor greenhouse. Just, you know, a little nice little area, make it look cosmetic. And then the next level up, because it is getting so close. I, can't, I don't know if I, I mean, huh, I really don't want to. But I might end up just at some point saying, yeah, I'm going to have to extend it up because of that stupid, stupid extra height on the fireplace. But that is the new expansion. I used a lot more than I thought I would resource wise. So uh, it's it's. It's back to harvesting time.